So, uh, today I'm going to talk about a book, and not just any book. This is a book review of the Holy Bible for psychedelic collectors. I think so, at least. Um, so, yeah, what book am I talking about? Well, and the Holy Bible in this case is this one. This is Endless Trip by Richard Morton Jack. Cue music. So, before I go even further and start reviewing this, this book, I just want to say that this guy here, uh, this, this man, Matt Sands, uh, love him to death, he has already made a video about this book. So go back, check his video out, check his, his videos out, because he is the oracle when it comes to uh, psychedelic music. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, subscribed and, and watched uh, all of his videos, um, I urge everyone to, to do that, if you're a fan of psychedelic music. So what sparked me to do this video? Well, when I, when I got it and when I searched for the book on YouTube, there were only Matt's video and it's a fantastic video. But I feel like Richard Morton Jack and his uh, fellow sort of authors for the book, they deserve more exposure. So if I can, I can sort of bring this behemoth of work forward even more um, than, than Matt Sands has, has started, uh, I will uh, be uh, happy. Uh, you, you know the, 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 the deal. So, so yeah, uh, before we continue, uh, please subscribe if you haven't, if you like what I'm, I'm supplying to the sort of uh, the YouTube world. And also at the end of the video, if you liked the video, please give this a thumbs up because then it will spread to even more uh, nerds and more nerds needs to know about these stuff, don't they? Well, the book, the Holy Bible. Is it really the Holy Bible? Well, yes, it is. If you are looking for information about American and Canadian music from the 60s and 70s, and when it comes to the more progressive or psychedelic and maybe heavy blues, blues, rock, this is the shit of book. Insane! As I said, it's uh, uh, written or compiled, this may be the, no written and compiled, by Richard Morton Jack, which, which is a famous dude in this sort of circuit when it comes to psychedelic uh, music and keeping the, the banner high for, for the genre. He has written some of, if not the most important books on the, on, the, on the subject, especially if you also are a record collector. The book was, was published in 2010 of, uh, on a Fox Coat Publishing. And I've done some research. I don't think that they uh, are existing any, anymore, uh, unfortunately. Because everyone who, who decides to put this out should be uh, uh, live and, and prosper. In, <laughs> my opinion. Uh, and the strip is a um, monster of a book, weighs like 200 pounds. It's uh, without um, really exaggerating for the effect. This is 800 pages long and over a million words. And that's not exaggerating. That's a fact. This is 800 pages long. That's what you get your money's worth of <laughs> when it comes to, to this book. And it's compiled of different lists and stuff like that. But uh, the main like bulk of the book is uh, A to Z sort of um, artists in, in, in order, in alphabetical order of the stuff that, that the, the groups and the stuff that uh, Richard and his fellow um, authors uh, felt wanted to, to, he wanted to, to g g put in the book. This was supposed to be a companion piece for the Galactic Ramble that was put out uh, some years before this. And that was also uh, a Bible of sorts. Uh, Richard is a UK citizen and, and uh, the Galactic Ramble was the equivalent of this, but for the UK circuit. So uh, a monster work of a bloody book. I, I, it looked like uh, like this, and this was supposed to be a companion piece. But soon after it was released, I my my theory at least is that this got a life of its own that no one could have anticipated really. Um, and not long ago, just some years ago, uh, the Galactic Ramble got a new edition. Looks like this. I have it in my in my book collection. 
um, and they did a sort of a rendition, added a lot of stuff to the original uh, book. Uh, so we are a lot of people that are waiting and hoping that they will do the same treatment with this one, but more of that to come in the end of this video. So if you have seen my video about the Galactic Ramble, this is just uh, like it's it's it has the same sort of uh, layout. Is that the word for it? The, the same format. Uh, but if you haven't seen that video, um, I'm going to uh, tell you how it works uh, right now. And this is the, the stuff that, this is the, the, the thing that I love the most with these books and, and that Richard Morton Jack, that he went in this sort of way is just, oh shit, the intelligence of this guy. Uh, he takes the reviews from known magazines back in the day and mixes that with uh, his own opinions and reviews or the authors because they are many authors uh, reviews and, and opinions so first you get if there are any uh, because the more obscure our record is the, the less it's written about it in the in the past but if you take take a ordinary record uh, it has some reviews from Melody Maker and uh, Rolling Stone magazine and I don't know which uh, of them you have a date you have an author of, of the original sort of re review and then after that um, one or maybe two or even sometimes three uh, reviews and opinions are written by the the authors today and this sort of play past and present is fantastic because you get maybe a review of something that we know is a masterpiece today uh, you get a, rev a rev review from back in the day where they didn't like the record at all uh, and then Richard Morton Jack comes uh, comes swoops in and just like writes his opinion about it today and and maybe the opinion that we all have about the record I don't know and uh, so so the play for, for past and present is it th that's the best part of this uh, book and it goes on for 800 pages there are sections of it I'll, I'll see if I can show you there are sections uh, with um, colored pictures of records that I think that the authors have uh, maybe my theory is that maybe they like a little bit more um, for different reasons. The rest of it is just text and black and white pictures. And the black and white pictures is also uh, when because when it comes to content of this book the text is the main man here uh, in my opinion. But you get uh, black and white pictures of posters, ads, album covers, photos of artists, band, um, publicity photos, Everything that they, I, in my opinion, I think at least, that they could dig up you get without uh, ever like taking over a page. It's just like a, a little sort of snippet of, of a, 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 like cutting in into the text and it's lovely. I have had this for a couple of weeks now. I'm not the, the uh, one of those like uh, fortunate ones that bought it when it came out. So I, I had to pay up for this because this is a rare ass book. Uh, but I've had it some weeks now. I've only come to page 55 out of 800. That's how intense this book is. Um, and I'm not even reading it like from page to page. But every page has something of interest. Either it's not something that you know about and you love reading about what they thought of it back in the day and what people are thinking of it now um, or you find something that you have never heard about that just sparks your interest and you have to go online to check it out and maybe add it to your want list it's just insane and as I said this is 2022 now and uh, I got this uh, a few weeks ago I had to sell some records to get this and I actually got it for a steal compared to what goes for otherwise from a guy in Germany uh, so I'm super glad I have it now and it's a hard book to get a hold of unfortunately if you're watching this I don't think that it's an easy any easy way to get this book you have to pay up if it even is available at all and that's super shame the galactic ramble was re 
produced, re-edited um, and reissued um, some years ago. And I think that you still can buy that book. And when it comes to that book, I shit you not, this is the most sort of, this is the highest sort of buy now or cry later thing because they are skyrocketing in price when they are gone and they are the holy bible of this sort of genre and interest that we have so if you don't have it it's an expensive book but sell some records i mean and buy it that's just my this it's the biggest advice i can give you today if it's still available if you don't have galactic ramble do yourself a favor and get it today. So, uh, I was in contact with Richard Morton Jack uh, before I bought this used uh, because I don't want to to uh, I didn't want to to pay up for this and a week later they reissued it. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, when I talked to him, he said that he has so many projects going on right now, so he won't. Uh, he's, he's not seeing himself doing a reissue of this book in this century. Um, so that just gives me the signal that it's not worth waiting for uh, because uh, it will take time, like eight plus years to get a reissue of this and a lot of things can happen in eight years or ten years or whatever so it's not even a question, maybe it's not even a question about it getting a reissue ever again. Um, so when it comes to collecting books, I think that this will only keep on getting more expensive uh, when it comes to price. Uh, I love collecting books uh, about music. Uh, it's one of my biggest interests uh, on the side of, of, of uh, the, the records. So um, I'm super glad to being able to add this to my, to my uh, book collection. So yeah, that's it. Um, a fantastic book. Highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it. And thank you so much, Richard Morton Jack and, uh, and the authors of, uh, of the, the book for, for uh, compiling that and the Galactic Ramble. And if you have any questions, please write them down below and I'll try to answer them all as fast as I can. And um, I'll see you in my next uh, video. Have a great day, everyone.